Well, a few days ago, I covered this topic here on black girls gamers wanting to sue everyone. They had sent a cease and desist against or at that park place and John Trent over their article that they had posted about how their uh, hiring practices at black girls gamers were strictly not diverse and were full of discrimination. And now, today, we finally get to see the cease and desist letter. It was showcased on Vigilant Renegade over on YouTube. They have their own channel and they posted it there. And I have the letter also. There's also a follow-up which their uh, attorney, Ron Coleman, has uh, posted to his own YouTube video on his own channel. So if you want to see the follow-up, there's more than that. But... I'm going to look at this letter and give my thoughts on it because it's an absolute ridiculous letter. Uh, everything I saw it is absolutely just out there. Um, and uh, when it comes to Canada, it's a little bit different than the American states. And uh, we'll have to, is there something that I'm not going to be able to do here? I don't know. I don't see this as anything too crazy. I thought it was, uh, I thought their article was pretty fair, uh, just showcasing what is going on in the space. But let's take a look. Now, before we get right into it, subscribe to the channel. This is an ongoing saga. If you subscribe to the channel and maybe hit the notification, you might be able to come back and see more videos on this topic. I even have a playlist that's been set up over the Sweet Baby Inc situation and it's an ongoing detail of what is going on in the the space between sweet baby inc black girl gamers the entirety of the gaming space and how the games industry as a whole has been corrupted and absolutely brought down to a level that is nowhere near what it once was this is from mco their law team delio m Morris and Catherine D. Curran and Vena M. O'Keefe. They are the law firm that has sent this cease and desist to John F. Trent of That Park Place. In response to J.N. Lopez and Black Girls Gamers. J.N. Lopez is the CEO of Black Girls Gamers. I have covered this in the past. Um, and she did this for selfish reasons in the first place for Black Girls Gamers. And now is a company that is getting seed money from many different entities. Dear Mr. Trent, please be advised that our firm has retained Miss Lopez, CEO of Black Girl Gamers. Uh, as you know, Miss Lopez and Black Girl Gamers are well known in the gaming community. Are they? I hadn't known who they were for a very long time. They run a Facebook group of 10,000 black women. Um, so in the gaming group, that is a very minute scale, but they they claim that they have a very they're very well known. So if they're well known, where does the statue go? If they're that well known, are we not at the level of fame? Are we not at the level where you can talk about the and talk about them in uh, articles and everything else? We'll have to wait to see. Our firm has retained uh, because Miss Lopez observed a series of unwarranted and defamatory attacks against her character and reputation made by you and various online commentators who follow or share your views. So sharing views online is wrong. Um, these false, unwarranted, and defamatory attacks are also directed at Black Girls Gamers. Additionally, Miss Lope has observed that you have publicly used her name, image, and likeness without her prior authorization on your website, That Park Place. Um, they have a lot on their publicly available website. They are in articles. They are in a Vice article from 2017 um, and many more articles out there uh, that exist with her photograph. Uh, and then it's also online. You can just search her name, find her photograph online in a public space. We demand that you immediately cease and desist from posting or displaying any videos and or comments about Miss Lopez and Black Girls Gamers. We demand that by April 5th, 2024, you remove any and all links and references to videos, i.e. YouTube or Twitch, that comments upon or visually depicts Miss Lopez and or the Black Girls Gamers brand. I've never heard of this, uh, where people just say, no, you're not allowed to post any such things whatsoever online. 
Video commentary and comments posted online that attack Miss Lopez's moral character and accuse her and Black Girls Gaming of engaging in unlawful and discriminatory hiring and retention practices are hurtful, baseless, and defamatory. So what's the truth? If, if that's the case, what's the truth? Explain to us what the truth is because none of us have seen it any other way. 100% uh, minority owned. Well, if that's 100% minority owned or 100% minority operated, that's not necessarily owned, that's operated, meaning they're discriminating. If you're 100% minority operated, that means you're discriminating somewhere along that line. At what point do you, is the minority in your system no longer a minority. The accusations that you levied against Miss Lopez and Black Girls Gamers are simply untrue and dem demonstrably false. I tried to look this up in real time, doing it on a video. Um, I couldn't find any other thing to say that it was uh, false. Um, I don't know, like, I don't know their internal dealings unless there's more info out there that they're not sharing with the public. For their website, it is marketed this way. Um, what do you want? These dam defamatory public accusations have resulted in racist, sexist, and misogynistic communications directed at Miss Lopez and Black Girls Gamers' public brand. Those defamatory public accusations have also resulted in various communications directed at Miss Lopez threatening violence against her person and the company resulting in law enforcement referral. So someone makes an article, another private citizen uh, turns around and uh, makes these accusations or makes threats. Threats are, don't threaten people, that's illegal, first off. If you threaten someone, it is illegal. Um, and if they truly fear for their life over an article that of something that showcased what they're doing online uh, for their hiring practices, where what, what, what do you want people to do? Park Place, myself, I don't control what my viewers do. I don't control what anyone does. They do that under their own volition. How is me making a video sending someone off the deep end? Don't do that. I've spoken at length about not giving in to demons, and very much so. And that is just, it's illegal to sit there and utter threats. Don't do it. Don't send threats. And at the racist, sexist, and misogynistic communications. Once again, you don't control everyone online. There is bad apples in every fandom, in every place of the internet. There is 3.3 billion gamers on the planet out of 8 billion people. Some of those people share views that are disparaging and are not good people. That is a fact, but it's not all gamers. It's not all people. It's not everybody out there once again you're taking you're lumping everyone into this thing and they are not representing of that so without actual seeing the the uh the stuff and i can tell you right now if you're getting those types of things block mute delete move on that's how i deal with the channel i get i get called all sorts of names in my comments i get called i've had death threats in the past I've saved them, they go into a file folder, and if things ever happen, then the police already get it. That's how you deal with it. You just move on from it and don't worry about it. These reprehensible comments and video posts have damaged Ms. Lozbez's personal rep reputation, placed her in reasonable fear for a bodily harm, uh, the false accusation of discrimination levied by your advisory affect Miss Lopez's personal life and damage Black Girl Gamer's business reputation and public profile. Once again, they stepped into in the middle of a situation with Sweet Baby Inc. and made it about them. They stepped in to run interference with Sweet Baby Inc. Notice how we're no longer talking about Sweet Baby Inc. at this point. We're talking about Black Girls Gamers because they wanted this whole situation to be made about them. The second... The second they get the backlash that Sweet Baby Inc. has been getting, um, they pull out a lawyer and put a lawyer on speed dial and send out cease and desist saying you can't do that. No, these are, these are the fair rules that we get to play by here. Everyone gets to play by the same rules here if this is the way things are going to go. If, if, this, if this is now going into a public space, everyone gets to play by the same rules and you don't get to pick and choose 
uh, that what people are allowed to say and what people aren't allowed to say. There are bad people out there in the world. That park place, myself included, do not control what everyone does out there. We don't have this magical mind machine, mind meld with everyone out there that says, you can't do that. I'm not your conscious. Please note that this law firm does not attempt to restrict legitimate free speech and we believe the internet is an important medium for dissemination of accurate and truthful information for fair comment on issues of interest. 100%. Everyone that uh, that is in the creator space, that's in, in in the space that wants these wants these ideas spoken about, everyone's going to agree with that statement. However, the defamatory comments made by you unlawfully encroach upon our clients' rights. It was a well-documented, well-researched article. This letter puts all on notice that should there be further defamatory comments about Miss Lopez and Black Girls Gamers, we will have no choice but to recommend that our client pursue all legal causes of action, including the filing of a lawsuit to protect her interests. We will pursue both monetary damages and attorney fees and costs incurred by our client as a result of legal action. It is our hope that this correspondence will alleviate the need for such filings or legal action. Thank you for your attention. Sincerely, Dalio K. Morris. Um, and then it's been CC'd to uh, Miss Lopez as well. This is the cease and desist they put out there. Absolutely ridiculous. This is the article in particular for spoken consultant black girls gamers appear to discriminate in their hiring practice while, while claiming they are being harassed. This is an awful lot of dust up and words for something that is immensely false as per what they are saying. Prove it. Let, let's see. I want to see that park place and black girls gamers go to discovery at this point. Let's see it. I want to see what discovery pulls out because I got to say discovery goes both ways and they've already been scrubbing their website of a lot of disparaging things. And Ron Coleman in his own, uh, in his own live stream stated that they have archives of it all. So if that's the case, what evidence is, is going to show up with the, the police during discovery if this really does go forward? I really don't think it will. Um, I, I, you know what? I'm going to sit here on the edge of my seat waiting to find out. And the response that they're giving is plain and simple. Um, this is from Ron D. Coleman from Dillon Law Group. Um, by email, Delio K. Morris... Morris Curran and O'Keefer PC uh, in response to Jalen Lopez Black Girls Gamers. Dear Mr. Morris, we represent That Park Place TPP, its principals and employees, and we write in response of yours March 27th, 2024. We have reviewed your demands and on consideration find them both meritless and ridiculous. Ridiculous is what we do here. Uh, for these reasons... Your demands are rejected in whole, and we consider the matter closed. Please direct any further inquiries, as may be necessary, to undersigned by email. Yours very truly, Ron D. Coleman. Go check out Ron's channel. He went over in full details. Also, go check out Vigilant Renegade, because they did a hilarious meme at the beginning of them showing off this letter. Um, it was absolutely legendary, and thoroughly enjoyable uh, i gotta say it's pretty much let's put it this way if you don't know what a head up your ass is then maybe you want to go check out the meme that they have over there on village uh, vigilant renegade anyway i've been your proud canadian phoenix center shadow i am signing off here don't forget to like and subscribe because this is an ongoing saga and i will see you again very soon mm -hmm.